It is often said that success has a thousand fathers, but defeat is an orphan. John F. Kennedy popularized this saying, but it has antecedents going back hundreds of years. It is a bit of wisdom based on the simple observation that people like to, tr to trumpet their successes and hide their failures. That's just human. But my parents taught me to share success and give limelight to others and take responsibility for your failures yourself. Hello, I'm Stuart Baskin, pastor of First Presbyterian Church of Tyler, Texas. One thing I've learned not only from my parents, but also in my career, is that a good leader always shares the spotlight when they succeed. Good leaders thank all the people who made the success possible. And there are always, almost always, many people who deserve credit. Listen to acceptance speeches at the Oscars, for example. Some people try to wax eloquent, but the best speeches are not all that great as speeches are concerned. Instead, they try hard to thank everyone they can think of who helped make the award possible. For they know that every successful person stands on many shoulders. By the same token, a good leader does not seek to deflect or cast blame on others when things go wrong. I had a colleague once who was well known by everyone on that staff for blaming others for failures. The result was that over time, no one wanted to work with this person. No one trusted this person and failures began to mount because this person had fewer and fewer people willing to offer help because they knew that in the event of failure, this person would not just throw them under the bus, but stop the bus and back over them for good measure. I spoke last week about the lesson of learning to take responsibility for one's mistakes. Today's lesson from my parents is similar, but goes an important step further. Failure to take responsibility for one's mistakes is personal, but casting blame on others affects the whole community. It weakens the community because it erodes trust. Look, I don't know anyone who always succeeds at everything. Everyone makes mistakes, and even the best laid plans fail for reasons that may be out of one's control. But there are just people who, for reasons of personal insecurity, cannot or will not ever admit to or own their mistakes. I can always spot people who don't admit their mistakes and tend to evaluate their claims, claims of success accordingly. But when I hear people deflect blame and place it on others, well, I tend to question their character. I know that sounds harsh, but it's true. And I do it because of the impact it has on the people who get blamed. Maybe it's because I've been blamed for others' failure and I know how it feels. Or maybe it's because I have seen how destructive it is for community and for morale. And yet there are always people who cannot see through such people who accept their fault finding and blame assigning as gospel truth. It's hard to know what to say about that other than this. These things always have a way of coming to light in the long run. They always come out in the wash. And now may God continue to bless you and keep you in all that you do this day and in all the days ahead.